Hey guys, and so we're uh, picking up with uh, part two of our episode of You Are Here. Uh, so when I left last, less, last left off, excuse me, uh, our boy Noel had just uh, gotten into the city and he uh, met up with his buddy Oscar. Uh, and Oscar's in disbelief that uh, A, he wasn't in prison for the last year, and B, uh, He's making a living selling paintings. Uh, so they get caught up like two old buddies would, and uh, they go to your local watering hole. And uh, while they're getting caught up, uh, unfortunately, uh, on the news, we see uh, a local reporter talking about how a uh, killer named Vaughn uh, had just basically gotten out of prison. Um, this guy, had killed a bunch of people, but he got let out after being in prison for just a year um, on a technicality and for prison, prison overpopulation, essentially. Um, Noel is in shock by this because he's like, oh shit, you know, like there's a light that goes off. You know, he screwed this guy's wife and he has a feeling this guy is going to be out for blood, this, this guy Vaughn. Um, so he says his goodbyes to his buddy Oscar and uh, he actually makes his way down to the local police station. Uh, he attempts to have a conversation with one of the officers and the officers kind of like, you know, brushes him off and say, hey, listen, chill out. I'll be with you in a minute, but just take a seat. Uh, while he's sitting there frustrating and frustrated and worried uh, about his life, uh, you see a fellow uh, person uh, in the in the police station uh, being interrogated um, and she's looking up uh, right above where Noel's sitting and she's seeing a wanted sign um, and then she's looking at him and you know of course the lights going off like okay this isn't good what's going on here you know uh, Noel's like oh shit he looks up he sees it and you know he's like I'm out of here so he takes off and uh, he proceeds to go back to his apartment. Uh, he's pretty stressed at this point. All he wants to do is sell his apartment, uh, move back to the country with his uh, beautiful girlfriend, and live happily ever after. Well, lo and behold, uh, knock, knock on the door. Who is it? It's Helen. She's like, hi, I wanted to surprise you. I got some great news. And he's like, uh, hold on a second, you know, he's uh, got a bachelor pad, but, uh, you know, that wouldn't be the, an issue with most guys. But when your bachelor pad happens to be filled with um, paintings of people getting killed or assaulted or half-naked chicks, you know, girlfriends for some reason tend to, I don't know why, they tend to look down on that kind of stuff for some crazy reason. So he does a quick, you know, scramble to put everything away. Um, she comes in and she says, I've got some news for you. I just found out I'm pregnant. And his jaw drops. He's like, oh. You know, in shock, like most guys would be, but more so when you have a crazy killer that you know is out for blood. And you're, for some reason, your picture just showed up on a wanted sign in the local police station. Um, so he's like, hey, listen, she, she, she sees this, like, shot, like, but she's not sure if it's a good surprise. Kind of like, you, she, you could see she, he's thrown off a little. He's like, listen, I love you. Marry me. I don't have a ring. We're going to elope tonight. And she's like, oh, no, show me the city. Show me the city. He's like, no, trust me. The city's overrated. We're going to go to the falls, uh, you know, Niagara Falls. I'm going to take you out now. We're going to get out of here. We're going to go celebrate properly. Um, so she's convinced. It takes a couple minutes, but, you know. He convinces her to forego the sightseeing thing. They step outside, and their truck that she drove in on is unfortunately gone, or right next to the towing sign that says, between the hours of 6 a.m. and 8 p.m., you're allowed to park, and of course, it's after 8 p.m., so the truck has been towed. So they can't do anything until the next day. Uh, they spend most of the next day uh, going to DMV, well, he's going to DMV, excuse me, uh, trying to get his license because apparently he, uh, his license had expired, so he has to get a new license. And she's in Chinatown um, making friends with everybody. She's a very sweet, naive girl, but she's got that country girl mentality of, like, you know, thinks the best of everybody. It's not like the city mentality. It's a good way to think, but it's not the best way to blend in in the city. 
Um, so finally they get all their ducks in a row. They feel like they're ready to go. Um, they run into their buddy Oscar and their buddy's Oscar is like, hey dude, like I was gonna throw you this big ba bachelor party, uh, you know. Uh, he introduces um, Noel and Helen to his girlfriend, uh, Lucy, who also happens to be a bit of a character. She's a stripper. Um, not that that matters, but just to give you some idea. Uh, and uh, he's like, you know, you guys should, you know, go for a ride in, in Central Park. Um, so they proceed to go ahead and, you know, do that. No more reluctant because he wants to get out of there. He knows trouble's coming. Um, now, while he's going to go do that with Helen, unfortunately, bad news uh, befalls our man Oscar. Our man Oscar is uh, mugged uh, and uh, assaulted by uh, the character of Vaughn. Uh, Vaughn pulls him aside and he's like, where's Noel at? What's going on? Where's this guy? Uh, and basically, uh, after being roughed up a little bit, he tells him he's in Central Park. And um, from there, he shoots Oscar dead in the face which is pretty messed up, but you know, I mean, he's, he's a killer, some of these things happen. Um, cut to our next scene, and uh, Helen and, and Joel are enjoying what appears to be a nice stroll through the park, but lo and behold, uh, they see Vaughn, Noel recognizes him in the carriage behind them. Um, a chase ensues, uh, a wild chase through Central Park with these two uh, carriages, Helen's freaking out, wondering what's going on, because all she knows of Knowles is this great guy. Um, why is he acting like this? They manage to escape um, with their lives intact, barely. Um, right after that, she's playing, what's going on here? Why are you being pursued? And Knowles trying to blow it off. Ah, you know, these crazy New York people. Everyone's got somebody after them. You know, you're totally trying to blow it off. Um, they run into Lucy, Oscar's girlfriend, uh, again. Uh, and she's like, hey, you know, have you seen Oscar? He was supposed to bring me to this event uh, I'm going to, and he just disappeared. Um, they're like, no, we haven't seen him. Um, and then she says, so, no, you know, did you finally come clean to Helen? Tell her about your past. And Helen's like, your past? What are you talking about? Uh, so... Basically, uh, what happens next is he tells her about his past. He figures now it's time to come clean. He might as well come clean completely. He tells her how he used to be a jewel thief. Uh, um, for some reason, he's wanted by the police. Um, there's all these sorts of things. And of course, like most people would, she freaks out when she hears this news. Um, she's distraught. Uh, she takes off. She's, her uh, picture of him is completely shot. Um, Noel doesn't know what to do. He proceeds to help Lucy out. Uh, this event is a st strip thing. It's a bunch of guys are hired her. Um, she's assaulted. Uh, he saves the day, saves her. Um, finally, it's very late in the night. He goes home and as he's about to enter his home, he gets uh, delivered an envelope um, with pictures of this Vaughn guy following Helen. Um, He's going, oh, well, what's going on here, you know? Uh, this is not good, you know? He has to save Helen, whether she hates him or not, he has to save her life. Um, so guys, this looks like it's gonna be a three-part video, so bear with me. I'm gonna end here and finish up on the third part, which should be a fairly short part. So here we go.